All right, so as you guys know, a few days ago, version Z finally dropped on the global side of the game. And along with it came the highly anticipated auto battle and auto map features. And since then, I've been getting a lot of questions from people asking me what the new best stage for link level farming would be if you wanted to do it on auto as opposed to by hand manually, right? And for a lot of people, when they think of link leveling, the first stage that comes to mind is usually 23-8 in the story mode because of the abundance of enemies and also the high stamina cost. And the fact remains that for manual link farming, 23-8 is still by far the best stage available. So if you're gonna do it by hand, if you don't wanna use the auto features, then 23-8 is still the go-to. But unfortunately, because of the way that the auto map feature works, 23.8 for auto link farming is very, very bad. And I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about here by jumping into the stage real quick. And uh, we'll see what happens when we try to auto 23.8. Okay, so let's go with a standard team like this. I'm trying to link level a bunch of my new LRs. And uh, for the friend, let's go with a Biz Broly for the attack all. So that is the team. We're gonna jump in here and see how this goes. Oh, it's off. Okay, so let me just turn on the auto battle, auto map, and we got a five there. Okay, we're getting a four, roll the six. Got a four, so that means we are actually getting one of the fights. But as you guys have probably noticed at this point, the reason that the auto map feature is really bad on a stage like this is because more likely than not, you're going to be missing 90% of the available Cybermen fights. And you know, a big part of why this stage is good for link level farming is because there's a lot of fights. So if you're manually selecting the uh, roles, then you can, you know, get yourself to most of the fights pretty consistently, right? But with the auto function, it's just picking the highest roll. And also when it comes to paths with like different directions, right? Like branching paths, it just randomly chooses a way to go. It doesn't take into account how many items are in the way. It doesn't take into account uh, how many fights are in the way for each path. It just goes with a random one and also the highest roll. So often I found with this stage, if you auto it, the most you're expecting to get is like one to two Cybermen fights. And then of course the uh, Turles fight is guaranteed. So you're looking at like two to three opportunities to get a link to level up every single run, which is very bad. It's very, very bad. So once again, 23.8, still great for manually link farming because for the most part, if you are choosing the roles, then you can get to most of the fights with no issues, right? But when it comes to auto, it just doesn't really work. And in my opinion, it's a big waste of stamina because you're not really getting much from every single run. So the question now becomes, if 23-8 is bad for auto, then what's a good stage? And based on my research, based on just talking to people and some personal experience, it seems to me that you wanna go to area eight of the story mode and stage nine, Raging Battle. And this stage is actually much better for auto link leveling compared to 23.8, not only because there are a lot of fights, but also there are a lot of guaranteed fights on this stage, as you guys will see in a second. So. Let's jump in, same team as before, and uh, let's see how this goes. So we got a five, and then we got a four, and under normal circumstances on most other stages, we would have missed this fight. But this stage is good because we have a bunch of these fights where no matter what you roll, you're still gonna be able to get it since they have the stop signs, right? So worst case scenario on this stage, we have five guaranteed fights against all five members of the Ginyu Force, Raccoon, Guldo, Jace, uh, Birder, and Captain Ginyu. And as you can see, uh, we are getting links to level up 
Now, there is one drawback for this stage compared to the uh, other ones like 23-8 or any other stage you like to link level on, and that's the fact that the uh, stamina cost for this stage is quite a bit lower than some of the higher levels. So for 23-8, you're looking at 23 stamina, and this one only costs 14. And as we know at this point, a stamina cost is a factor when it comes to how likely your links are to level up for uh, each stage, right? So since this one costs 14 stamina compared to 23, your chances in each fight to increase link levels is gonna be lower, right? But I feel like, you know, just being able to get a minimum of five fights compared to, you know, one or two, a lot of times actually only one with 23-8 since from what I've seen, you're missing all the Cybermen like half the time and only getting that one Terrorless fight. Um, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. And even though it costs 14 stamina, even though, once again, lower chance for every fight, you're still gonna get levels to increase. I've had levels go from 9 to 10 on this stage. It doesn't happen too often, but it's definitely possible. And if you're gonna be autoing all day, then eventually, it is going to happen. So uh, there you go, guys. Stage eight, or rather area eight, stage nine, is the new link leveling stage for version Z for auto mode. And uh, I wanna reiterate, if I wanna manually uh, farm links, I'm still gonna go to 23.8. I'm still gonna go for the Cybermen fights, but if I'm feeling lazy or I just can't focus on the game, maybe I'm working or whatever, then this is the stage that I'll be doing for my link level runs. And uh, there is one other stage, there is one other stage that um, I've seen people talk about that I don't have a lot of experience with, that I haven't really tested, but I've heard that 15-2, so area 15, stage two, is also pretty good. It's also got quite a few of those uh, stop sign fights, right, that are guaranteed. But I've also heard that on that stage, it's actually possible to miss a few of the uh, stop sign fights because there's like a Nimbus that you can miss apparently. I'm not too sure actually. Why don't we try it out? Let's try 15-2 after this um, once we're done fighting Ginyu. But as I said, from my experience, 8-9 is the best stage for auto link farming. And uh, yeah, there you go guys. Hopefully this video helped some of you guys out there who were having trouble um, finding a good level. I know that I tried 23-8 quite a few times when the update first came out and it just wasn't working. It was just not a good time. In fact, it physically hurt me to see all the fights, all the potential link levels I was missing with auto on 23-8. So I did my research and I feel like 8-9 is the one. Now with that said though, let's uh, give 15-2 a shot to see if that is any different or possibly even better. So yeah, area 15, stage two, uh, 16 stamina versus 14, which is a good start. And let's grab a Fizz Broly and let's jump in. Now, of course, if I had my say, if we had an option, I definitely would prefer for the auto mode to be uh, you know, just more complex, right? Like if there was an option for us to choose, you know, like for the auto map, if uh, we wanted to have the most fights or if we wanted to go for the path with the most items or something like that, that would be awesome. Like that would have been ideal. But of course, this is Bandai we're talking about and having an auto feature that is intelligent like that is too much work, right? So all we got is highest roll, and random path. And uh, there you go, for that reason, we have to choose a stage with as many guaranteed fights as possible. Now, of course, for 8-9, you have a chance to get more than five fights. There's the Frieza soldier fights, which uh, are not super likely for you to land on, but you know, every once in a while you will. And uh, yeah, five guaranteed fights, possibly more. I'll take that any day of the week. Now, for this stage so far, We've had two fights, um, and I can see that all of the fights are against the you know Cybermen, and it's not great because there's gonna be fights like this where you're fighting 
5 Cybermen, and if you don't have any attack all units on your team, then it's going to take a really long time to clear each of these fights. But the good thing is, yeah, there are actually a lot of these stop signs. So, um, I think 15-2 is also a good option. In addition to 8-9, if you want to do 15-2, um, I would recommend to bring at least two attack all units. So maybe if you're farming a couple of attack all units like the AGL Gotenks or Fizz Broly or LR Cell or something like that, then I could definitely see this being possibly even better than 8-9. Uh, I mean, I'll count, I'll count. So far, we have three guaranteed fights. There are five on 8-9, once again. So, uh, let's see if this one has more. So yeah, that's three. And we're moving along. We're gonna go on the Nimbus here. And it's gonna take us back here. Interesting, interesting. Okay, I see. So, if we hadn't gone for the top path and went directly to the right, then we would have missed at least one of the guaranteed, guaranteed stop sign um, Cybermen. And I think uh, there was also a situation in the beginning of the stage where we could have gone a different path and missed one of the fights as well. So if you get lucky and if you go the right way for the entire time, then you're probably, yeah, looking at more overall guaranteed fights. Yo, this is a really lucky run. <laughs> this is actually a really good run. We got a one as our highest roll there. So we actually got that type of man. But um, yeah, what I'm trying to say is there's more RNG involved. On this stage there's more rng on this stage compared to the other stage where uh you know for eight nine you're getting five guaranteed on this one you're maybe getting i don't know actually three or four maybe guaranteed and then if you want all of the cybermen if you want all of the stop signs then you have to make sure that the computer chooses the right direction when it comes to the split paths and of course that's not something you can uh have any control over so I think 15-2 is good. I think 8-9 is still better. But they're both good. They're both good. Um, I still don't like the fact that, you know, each of these fights against the Cybermen is, um, you know, a lot of enemies, right? You're, you're looking at like three to five enemies each time. And on a rotation like this, where you don't have any attack all units, it's just a lot of attacks, so the stage overall on auto is going to take quite a bit longer than uh, some other stages, like 8-9, for example. So my conclusion, in the end, is that 8-9, I think, is still the best one. I think 8-9 is still what I will be running for auto link farming. Let me know in the comments if you guys uh, have any other good stages that you like to use, but I think, generally speaking, most people out there are doing 8-9, and uh, you can't really go wrong with 8-9. But this one's good. I'm sure there are some other good ones out there as well. So uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be today's video. We probably just have one more fight here, I believe, against Bardock. And then we will be out of here. And uh, for the rest of the evening, I will probably just be auto-farming links. I mean... Look, even though manual farming is still better, right, 23A is still much better, much more efficient, I guess, than auto link farming. Now that I have this option, now that I can just set it and not really look at it for a couple minutes and then just come back, you know, jump back into the stage, which takes like five seconds. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to be manually link farming ever again, guys. I don't know if I can get myself to do it because like I can just do this. I can just let the game play itself, and it's going to be really hard to uh, want to manually link farm, you know, because it's so tedious, it's so boring, and I just can't do it anymore. I can't. I mean, I really respect guys out there like, uh, you know, Truth and Olar and all those guys that have a million max link level units. I mean, the amount of just perseverance I guess is a uh, very very admirable but that's not me man I can't do it so anyways that is today's video guys hope you enjoyed it hopefully it helped you and uh, as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new 
hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.